Hi there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. It was about time y'all showed up. <laughs> I am so excited y'all are here. Y'all ready to go? Wait, I think I have to tell y'all something first. As y'all may know or not know, I happen to live in the same place I, I've always lived. A little town outside the Florida Evergr uh, Everglades called Hawaii. That's right, I live in Y, Florida. You wanna know how it got its name? You see, when people saw the city and then they decided to live there, they only had one question, why? See, this place can get pretty strange sometimes. Like during this season, it's the craziest. The temperature goes up way high. It gets so high you can cook a four course meal in the back of a gator. Speaking of gators, they love the heat. So the hotter it gets, the more gators we see. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old lady that needed help walking uh, across the street. But it turns out it was just a gator wearing a nightgown. Don't get me started on the hurricanes and mosquitoes. So that is why I have decided that I'm going on vacation. Well, not technically vacation, I guess. I won't be going anywhere, but I figured, hey, I'll just stay here at home. Kind of like a staycation? Staycation. <laughs> I like that. Did someone say staycation? Data. <laughs> I said that. How you doing, Carl? You decided to stay home for vacation? I'm great, and I'm just so excited to be at home and get some relaxation. Well, that sounds fun. Oh, it will be. Right, kids? Still can't hear you. Anywho. Okay, Jada, did you see that text I sent you about Abram? I sure did. Now, kids, Carl was reading in the Bible recently and came across a person he wasn't sure he had heard of before. His name was Abram. Yeah, he seems like a really good guy. He was. Abram was a man who loved God and loved his family. He also had been blessed tremendously by God. You see, I hear that word a lot, blessed. But what does it really mean, you know? Totally. Blessing means a gift from God. We usually think of them as money or a house, maybe good friends or children. And sure, those things come from God too. But the blessing that matters most is receiving God's love and protection. That can look so different to so many, but we get blessings not because we deserve them, but out of God's goodness and favor. Oh, got it. Now, Abram had many goats and sheep and was very wealthy, and one day God told him to move to a new land and a new country. God said this to him, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So let me get this straight. God loves Abram and Abram loves God. God blesses Abram a lot. God tells him to move away from his family and country so God can bless him even more? You got it. But even more than that, it says that all the other people on earth will be blessed through Abram. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. But how? I thought only God could bless others. Well, that's the thing. God gives us a life filled with all sorts of blessings, but that is all meant to be shared. I mean, think about it. How good does it feel when you've been blessed by God? Now that I think about it, pretty great. God gives me more than I could ever deserve. That's right. And it's your job, just like Abram's, to share those blessings with other people. Abram left his home country and found a new place to settle down. Once again, God spoke to Abram and told him that he would one day have all the lamb Abram had brought to, that his children would be too many to count and his legacy would continue forever. That's incredible. So everything that we've been blessed with, we can use that to bless other people. Yeah, you got it. So whether you're packing up your whole life and moving to another country or just having fun on your staycation, we know God's blessings can be used for really big things. Ah, speaking of big things, I think I have to barricade these doors before it starts getting fun. Those gators are getting smarter every year. And I met that one gator who knows how to use doorknobs. So I'll see you later. Hey there, kids. Can you think of some of the ways God has blessed you? It's easy to forget all the different blessings God has given us, and it's even easier to forget that those blessings can be shared with others. That's why today's big idea is 
God blesses us so we can bless others. And because we never want to forget that, we are going to shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. God blesses us so we can bless others. Great job, everyone. Now, can you imagine all the adventures Carl will go on during his staycation? They're sure to be wild and hilarious, so you won't want to miss the next episode of Grow TV. See you later. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapters 12 and 13. There once was a man named Abram. One day, God told Abram to pack up all his stuff and get going. He told Abram to travel to a far off place called Canaan. Canaan would be Abram and his family's new home and God promised he would bless them there. That means God would be very good to them, give them all they needed and more. Abram would be so far from home, but he knew the home is wherever God is. So it was like Abram was going on a long vacation wherever God told him to stay. Ah, uh, staycation! But here was the most important thing. God wasn't blessing Abram so that he could keep the blessing all to himself. Not at all. God said, all peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. That meant that the goodness God showed Abram was meant to be shared with everyone. So Abram and his family packed up and headed to Canaan. And just like God said, they had everything they needed and more. A man named Lot was a family member of Abram. Lot and Abram's family were traveling together, but one day their families had to split up and go separate ways. Abram let Lot pick which way to go first, and Lot picked the road that led to a land that looked like full of life. Abram and his family went the other way. He knew that it didn't matter where he went. He knew God was with him and God would bless everyone who was with him. And he was right. God told Abram to look around as far as his eyes could see. God was giving him all that land. And God told Abram that he would have more children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-great-grandchildren that would outnumber the dust on the ground. That's a big number. In fact, you and I are included in that number. We are part of Abram's family, and that means we are included in the blessing that was given to him from God. But that also means that like Abram, God blesses us so we can bless others. Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. Let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith.